Hi everyone, how are we all doing? It's Andrew here. It is Sunday the 3rd of January 2021. And it's a new vlog week, so I'm going to try and vlog all week to see how this goes and see what I think of vlogging for a week. So I'm going to try and make one video a week by vlogging each day. So this is Monday, no, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, I go back to work on Tuesday for one day, and then I'm off for the rest of the week, which is fab. So yeah, I'm just about to go then to the kitchen and get some soup. And then I'm going to come through and probably play some of more of my Nintendo Switch. I recently bought Two Point Hospital, um, Two, two Point Hospital um, Nintendo Switch game which is awesome uh, £20 from eBay and it came faster than I thought it might come in January but it came December which is awesome so I've been playing that for a few days and it's a really good game I used to play it on my laptop but don't anymore um, because my laptop had to upgrade to a Chromebook because back in March it March, April, because my Chromebook, my laptop, HP laptop, crashed and died, and um, doesn't work anymore. So I've now got um, a Chromebook, and that doesn't do Steam. Uh, we can get the games. So now I've got to go with my uh, Nintendo Switch that I got a couple of years ago. Um, so I'm starting to use that again more. And I've got Two Point Hospital, so it's a good hospital game. So definitely check it out if you love hospital games. So I'm going to go back um, to the loving room, I'm in my bedroom just now. I'm going to go back and get, oh there's Kevin's and Katie's and Pascal. Um, yeah, so yeah. And all sorts of things and there we go and there's like, this is knitted. So yeah. I'm going to, anyway, I'm going to go back and get some lunch um, and then I'm going to come in and play some Nintendo Switch. So hope you all have a wonderful January. Whatever you get up to, stay pay. Peace out, and I'll see you later. Hi everyone. Now it's Monday the 4th of January. Yesterday, after I made the wee clip yesterday morning, I went then to the living room and kitchen and we had chicken noodle soup. It was like one of these Nor packets. Had a cup of tea with it. Um, and then watched the television all afternoon and then had dinner. For dinner, Dad decided to make glazed ham. It was like a box from Morrison's and it was glazed ham with orange and honey. That was really nice. So we had that with some vegetables and potatoes. Oh, that was yummy. I think we're going to have some of the ham. We've got more of the ham left for today. Um, and we're going to have that with pasta, fresh pasta, so this is Monday, hi, Monday, I keep thinking it's Tuesday for some reason, it's not, it's Monday, um, so in the post today, I got a full package, I got a parcel, so I'm so happy to show you this parcel, um, thank you to my friend Trudy, uh, Trudy, she is a geocacher like me, and she contacted me on Facebook, now I put a post on one of our geocaching pages, just to say, Basically, that. What did I say? I to say that I'm going to do a maintenance run. A maintenance run in January and maintenance run of all my geocaches that I went to in Glasgow um, and stuff. And Trudy message, private message me and says, I've got all this stuff lying around the house. Do you want it? And I went, oh yeah, 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 that's fine. Um, how much do you and stuff? And she's like, no, no, it's free. Um, so that's really, really, really nice of Trudy's fellow geocacher. Geocaching community is amazing. Everybody is so nice. I've not once yet found a geocaching person or a family that has been horrible. So I'm going to show you what I got in this parcel. So I have literally just opened this because I want to not show you my address because I don't want you to stalk me and stuff. Um, and now somebody did ask me 
ages and ages ago, would I get a P.O. box? Uh, the answer is no. I've looked into it, but it's like £30 to set up, and then it's like £10 a month, or it costs so much per month, and it costs me to click the mail and per item that the mail is in the P.O. box. So I'm not bothering with that, I'm just going to, no, I'm not doing that, that's a no no. Um, maybe for in the future, if I was getting paid by YouTube, I might consider it, but at the moment, no. Oh, okay, so let's see what's inside, I've not actually looked in this yet, so I don't actually know what's in here. So it's a good surprise for me too. A good surprise for me as well. Right, so I'll just try and unwrap this with my one hand, and I'll see what's inside. Okay, so Trudy has given me 10 of these boxes, now we call them geocaches, and we place them out and about um, in like parks, or in a bush, or at a train, st uh, or hiding like uh, somewhere near a train station and we call them caches um, as part of the geocaching game. So you would follow coordinates on the geocaching app to find a geocache. So say you, this is a total random location, I'm not going to say where one of mine are. Um, say you decided to do George Square. George Square in Glasgow, so you had this somewhere in George Square, Glasgow, no one would ever see it apart from the geocaching community. They would find this and then they would open it. If I can get this open with one hand. Nah, let's see how. So, yeah, we're open finally. Right, inside uh, a typical geocache, you would find uh, a game card. Right, so you'd find a card that would say the details on it of the cash. You would also find a clear bag that has a log sheet inside. So inside that you would write, uh, in the, on the sheet you would write your name, so your geocaching name, what date it is and what time. But you don't have to put the time, but a lot of people do. So you put the date and you put your name on it. And then you put it back in the back in the box in this. So you put it back in here. Make sure it's securely on or, or tightened, and then you hide it. So I got ten of these, which is awesome. So they'll be good for replacing my caches with and doing other things with these. So thanks very, very much, Trudy, for giving me these. So thanks Trudy for that box of goodies, that was awesome. Now I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of today, I go back to work on Tuesday, so I might just watch some catch up TV. Now apparently Casualty had a really really gripping episode on Saturday, I've not seen Casualty in ages, but a few uh, nurses that I f have as friends on Facebook my friend Samantha and my friend David. Um, they both um, posted posts on Saturday, Sunday to say, whoa, that episode of Casualty is so real. My friend Samantha said that she f normally says these type programs never really get it exactly right. Um, never really get anything exactly right. They, all these programs like ER, well that's America, but um, these documentaries and these dramas and soap operas and stuff never really get it right and um, for hostels never get 100% but casualty on Saturday apparently it was top form uh, a lot of nurses and doctors and stuff through Facebook um, have said that too I've seen like the casualty feed on the casualty fan page and they've, they've pretty much nailed it apparently so I've not watched that episode yet so I'm gonna probably watch that just now and play some Nintendo Switch for a while. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I was going to go out, but it's apparently really icy outside, so I'm not going to go out today. I'm only going to go out tomorrow when I go to work. So, yeah. Hmm. I don't know what. I'm going to have a nice lazy day because I'm back to work tomorrow. I know it's only one day I'm back to work for um, this week. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to love you and leave you for the moment. And I'll probably see you in the next video. 
you never know. Hi, it's Tuesday. Um, what am I up to today? Well, today I was maybe at work um, for one day this week. However, work's been cancelled because Scotland is now in a lockdown again um, until at least February. So I don't know when I'll next be in work. Uh, we got a message on like WhatsApp and stuff from our boss to say please don't come to work tomorrow until we find out what's happening. So yeah. So I'm in the house, it's the afternoon now on Tuesday, I am currently watching Classic Emmerdale um, on ITV3, I don't normally watch it, but I thought I'd give it a shot, um, and then I'm going to watch two episodes of Classic Coronation Street, um, that's on every afternoon, um, I'm going to work on a vlog, um, editing the vlog that you're watching right now. I'm um, going to start editing that. I know, it's only, I know it's only Tuesday, but it's good to start editing it and get it ready so it's easier um, when the time comes to uploading it. I'm going to try and upload new vlogs every Monday, every Monday um, to YouTube. I'm going to try a week vlogging this year, so hopefully that will work. Um, so, yes, I'm in the house till February. I might go out for a walk, but it's a bit ice outside, so I'm not going to go outside. And look what I've got with Dad bought us. He, he went to shop today and he bought a pair of chocolate oranges and a chocolate bar for him. So I'm going to eat that and do some vlogging. Well, not vlogging, but editing vlogs. And then probably play some Nintendo Switch later on. Just to let you know, I have set up a Patreon account. Um, I now have a Patreon account, um, which is for my vlog channel. So you can get three levels. You can get tip jar for a pound per month, happy supporter for three pound a month, and you're a superstar um, for five pound a month. So. Patreon account, that, the link will be in the description bar below um, for my account. Now, for um, a pound per month, it says, Thank you for supporting me with my monthly tip. It means so much that you would like to support my channel. And then it gives you some benefits. So it's Patreon, Patreon only posts and messages. Then for three pound a month, you can become a happy supporter. And £3 a month includes, thank you for supporting my channel, you are so kind and this will help my channel, help me keep my channel up and running with content for my many vlogs. And this includes Patreon only posts and messages, Patreon only voting power, thank you messages for being a dedicated follower of Andrew M Vlogs, shout outs on a vlog, so you get your shout out on a vlog. And then for £5 a month you get Superstar Level, which which is £5 per month, and at the moment I've limited that to 10 people. So for that you get, you're, you're such a superstar for supporting my vlogs. With your support I will be able to keep my channel going by buying stuff for my vlogs, travel expenses when allowed for my many adventures and buy myself a drink and snack when I'm out filming my vlogs. For that you get Patreon only voting power, Patreon only posts and messages, thank you message for being a dedicated follower of Andrew M Vlogs, a shout out on a vlog and you get one personalised Christmas card at Christmas. Um, so that's for £5 a month. So thanks everybody for checking out my vlogs. Um, the, the link to the Patreon account will be in the description. So feel free to check it out, even if it's just a look at it. I know <clears throat> there's quite a lot of Patreons out there and you can't support them all. So if you'd like to support me, that would be amazing. Thanks. It's Wednesday, and I have just literally eaten a burger. Well, I've got half of it left for tomorrow. It was two six ounce burgers. So I got two, which made 12 ounces, and it was like bleh. 
and it was on a brioche bun. It was Route 66 burger, which came with macaroni cheese, um, bacon, sliced cheese, and it came with, well, it didn't come with chips, but the restaurant gave us chips on the house, which was really nice. Um, so I had the Route 66 burger. Uh, my mum had spaghetti bolognese, and dad had a, like a ranch burger. Um, it looked really, really nice. It was really nice. My burger was super, super tasty. Um, we had starters as well. Uh, mum had this goat's cheese starter. Um, goat's cheese fritter. Uh, she didn't like it. Um, she would have liked it if it was if it was hot, like super hot, uh, and like melty cheese, because um, it tasted. It didn't taste nice when it was cold. Um, unfortunately, it was uh, when it was cold. Um, what else? Oh, I uh, me and Dad had myself and my dad. We had what did we have? Oh, I we had nachos, nachos with pulled pork. Oh, that was like a massive portion, like a really, really big portion. Uh, that was super tasty. If I was to order like takeaway again, um, I would definitely just order the nachos. Oh, they are super, super good. Nachos with pulled pork. Never had that before, and it was super good. So it was from a restaurant called Just Miss Doe, um, which is based in Cardonald in Glasgow. Um, they do home deliveries at the moment through, I think it's Just Eat. Or delivery one or two. Uh, I'm sure it's just eat. Uh, the website. I don't know how far their radius is for their deliveries, but definitely check them out if you're in the area. Uh, just Misto, J I S T M I S T O, um, in Cardonald. Um, they are there in Cardonald. I'll link the channel, uh, their channel, their Facebook page below in the description. So definitely check them out. Um, so yeah, we had takeaway for dinner at uh, restaurant quality, which was awesome. Um, so thanks, just Misto for that. Um, first time we've had restaurant food since last year. Um, we had restaurant we had food from a restaurant Belvita, Italian, um, <clears throat> in Cardonald back in March, April, or even May. Can't remember. But one round about the start of last lockdown. Uh, last year, the first lockdown last year. So yes. So I hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday. I had a wonderful Wednesday because it's like time for me to go to bed now. And I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, and it's been snowing overnight. Yes. It has literally been snowing overnight. So we have some snow. Don't know how long it'll last for, mind you, but we have snow. We are in Glasgow. How is the weather where you are? Has it been snowing? Comment below in the comments box and let me know. Toast for breakfast. Yep. One piece. Two pieces. I'm going to have over. Hello, Loki. Hi. So this is my pet cat, Loki, as you know. And he loves sitting on the seat next to the hot radiator. Look outside now. It's getting foggier and foggier. It's not snowed again, but it has got a lot of foggier now it's the afternoon. <laughs> um the snow's melted a wee bit, but not much. And it's definitely getting foggier over the street there. Definitely getting more foggier. And apparently it's really cold. My dad went outside to do some things in the shed and he said it was freezing. So happy that I don't need to go out today. I really need a haircut. But I'll get that once lockdown's over. Um, yeah, definitely not a day for going outside. It's so foggy and so cold. So glad I don't need to go outside. 
Um, nothing to do when I go outside anyway, because I'm not at work at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and, oh, I'm in the middle of editing this vlog that you're watching right now. Um, it is Thursday, two more days left of this week's vlog, um, which I can't wait. I know that I'm trying out weekly vlogging, uh, never really done that before, so, well, I've maybe done it ages ago, but can't remember. Anyway, hope you all have a good day. What are you up to? Comment below. Um, how are you surviving lockdown? Let me know. And I'll speak to you later. Hey everyone, it's Friday. Well, it's about half past midnight. And it's snowing. Yes, it is officially snowing. Here in Glasgow, on the south side, south east. It looks really nice. Snow, snow, snow. Nice white snow, it's like ice and sugar. But it is snowing here in Costco. So is it snowing? Has it been snowing where you are? I know yesterday, on Thursday, it had been snowing during the night, but now it officially is snowing again. Well, we still have snow, um, just now, it's the afternoon now, um, and we still have snow. It's not as heavy as what I thought it was going to be, but at least we still have some, which is great. Um, still not going to go outside, it's freezing outside, um, it's even freezing in my bedroom, and I'm inside it. So I'm snuggled in my covers just now. I'm going to watch a little bit of BritBox later on. Um, I now have that subscription. I got that for Christmas. Um, £60 for the whole year. I got that from my mum and dad for Christmas. Which was nice of them. And I got some parcels. So over the past few days I got some deliveries. And I'm going to show you what I got. In the parcels. Okay so the first item I got. Was this geocaching bag. Or one of the items I got was it was this geocaching bag. It came from a geocaching website um, for eBay um, and that's the geocaching logo on the front. If you don't know what geocaching is um, I'll leave a link below to the geocaching website and you can find out um, all the information about geocaching there. So I'm a geocacher, that's what they're called. I'll see if I can open this bag handed. So it's a wee pouch. It's supposed to be like suitable just for like a mobile phone to go in but I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to use it for putting like items in that I need for when I go geocaching. So here's one of the things I got. So I got a bag full of goodies. So I got some clear bags to use for putting for when I'm doing my log sheets and stuff for my caches. I also got a bag full of what I call like bookies pens and Ikea pencils or Argos pencils. That's no, not going to focus. But that's what I got. A whole stack of them. I also got some paper that I can use for log sheets. Yes, yeah, some paper I can use for log sheets, which is fine. I also got a pen, which I can use for when I'm writing all my logs. Um, and I also got, what else did I get? Some tweezers. So I got some Zacro tweezers, so that's good for taking out log sheets of really small geocaches. And I also got a sharpener. So that was what I got in this lovely wee geocaching bag. That was eleven ninety nine on eBay with free postage. I also got on eBay. Um, 200 bags. Now these are like clear, these clear type bags um, which I'm going to use for geocaching again. So I got 200 of these, so 100 per bag and it's like clear bags to go when I'm doing geocaching. 
Hi, it is now Sunday. I did not make any videos on Saturday. I did not vlog at all because I didn't do anything on Saturday. I literally got out of bed and got dressed and went through to the living room. It's just the afternoon by now because um, I woke up. I woke up when the doorbell went. Um, yeah, I woke up when the doorbell went. My dad went downstairs and got parcels. Um, I got a parcel. It was a new jumper from eBay. Well, it was not new, it's second hand. But I picked up a jumper. I'll show you. Um, I'll insert a picture to this um, video. Um, the reason I can't show you is because it's hanging on the washing line just now in the kitchen and it's literally drying. Um, I got nicknamed Spider-Man when I wore this at school. I used to have this jumper when I was in school, in high school, and I really liked it. I picked it up at the Livingston Designer Outlet from the Nike Outlet Store, which I don't believe is there anymore, I don't think. Um, but correct me if you, I'm wrong. It's been so long since I've been. So, yes, um, I picked it up on eBay for about £4. Originally, I bought it for about £20 um, from the Livingston Designer Outlet, Nike Outlet Store. Um, so yeah, it's now Sunday, it's 1 in the morning, I've literally just came to bed, I've been up all day, well, all afternoon, um, what did we have for dinner today? We had omelette, and unfortunately I was a bit unwell with it a wee while later, I, d I don't know how, but I was, I didn't overstuff myself, it's not as if I over ate, or I didn't eat snacks, I didn't have like gorge and things today to eat. Um, so I was a little unwell for that, but I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, I might go through and get some water for bed. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I still don't know what's happening with work, not heard anything. But, you know, it is what it is. We are in a global pandemic right now, so I have to wait and see. So this video, I'm going to try and aim for all videos to be uploaded on a Sunday. So a week's worth of vlogs will go up on a Sunday. So I will end the weekly vlogs normally on a Saturday and the weekly vlogs will go up on a Sunday afternoon at around about 3pm, 4pm. I'll schedule it for then. So thank you for checking out this wonderful first um, weekly vlog. Um, I've probably done them before but I can't remember uh, because I've done that for many vlogs. So hope you all have a wonderful um, week. I hope you all had a wonderful week. If you've made it this far on the vlog, thank you, thumbs up. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new and give me a thumbs up in the comments and write me a wee, leave me a wee message and I'll reply back to you as soon as I can. And I can't wait to vlog more in 2021. So hopefully 2021 will be a lot better for you. I'm going to love yous and leave yous and I'm going to speak to you all I'll, in next week's vlog. <laughs> Remember to check out Instagram because I will do wee posts on Instagram, uh, Instagram stories, uh, Andrew McV or Andrew M Vlogs even, Andrew M Vlogs. So search for Andrew M Vlogs on Instagram and it's my face that comes up. So yeah, I'm going to go for just now because it is like one in the morning <laughs> and I'm going to see you all later. Bye.